Arduino Projects book, project number four, color mixing lamp. So the ambient light that these three sensors are picking up result through this RGB LED in the color you're seeing, mostly. I tried to make a reflection here so it can better be seen. I think you can see it's kind of bluish, but on camera it may result like little lighter in color than than it is whitish but it's it's bluer so let me try with a, another surface and see if it reflects here a little better than on the cutlery to give an idea of what the color the resulting color in the ambient light here in these conditions are as it is picked up by these three sensors. So next, a comment on the RGB LED and the same test first using the uh, sw switching of the lights uh, in darkness in a moment. Almost no ambient light. Well, at least not enough for these three sensors to pick anything up and to make this RGB LED light up. So I will flash a torch at the sensors in turn. And I think that can be seen quite well. There you go. No need to set up a black screen or, or, a, or a mirror behind the LED, the RGB LED. I think the color can be seen. Perhaps it may be a little difficult here. So let me try again with this last LED and the reflected color in the cutlery is the giveaway of the light I am seeing in the LED with a black screen. Perhaps that is how it shows up. Otherwise, the other sensors in turn blue, green, red, blue, green, and in ambient light, not enough right now, but uh, if trying to shine on all three LEDs at the same time, more or less can't get all of them at the same time but uh, yeah alternating colors by moving the torch up and down through the LEDs. Next a comment on the RGB LED itself. Back in ambient light the RGB LED has four legs. One of the legs is the cathode and that leg is the longest leg for a change. Otherwise LEDs have the shorter leg as the cathode. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And last but not least, I connected the red LED or the lead part of the red, green, blue LED to pin number 11 and the blue part of the RGB LED to pin number 10 and last but not least the green to pin number 9 and that is uh, different from what I found in the book and I changed the sketch, the code Accordingly, I'll just copy-paste those three lines in the description below. Project number four, Arduino Projects book.